Hello and welcome to Dragon Age Origins. We are going to be playing the Liliana Song DLC today. This DLC takes place before the main game and follows the events of Liliana and basically why she joined the Chantry. So, let's get started. Also, it explains who Marjolaine is, who we met in the main game. to no secrets. This tale of foolish people long ago, I know what happened and what is true, but I don't know how it should end. Let me tell it one more time, and perhaps together we will see. Everything is waiting for us. We are here to show Ferelden how Ole commands the game. Several jobs and a personal score of my own, but the rest of the night is yours. Think you're up to it, pretty thing? You know I'm ready for anything. Of course you are. You're mine. I'll be watching. Don't let me down. Love to watch her go. Returns me to the stone. Ugh, focus. This will be fun. A little fun with the wigs of Ferelden. They weren't expected. Not like in all A. The clients want a little stealing? A few insults? Some good old revenge. Eyes open. We've got our targets. Let's find them. The goods we're after are stored here in the square. Okay, we got a new quest. Well, several. We got the game. Complete your contracts in the market. You have brought the Elysian game of intrigue to Denerum after several months of preparation. Several contracts have been set up for this night, including revenge. Larceny and simple chaos. Marjolaine is sure that you will meet her and exceed her expectations. That's why you're her favourite. Humble Ban Perrin and his guards. An Elysian noble wishes a Ferelden counterpart punished for his disrespect at a reception. A series of forged invitations have drawn Ban Perrin to Arl Eamon's estate tonight. Eamon is away, but Perrin cannot leave without risking insult. Humble ban Perrin by defeating his elite guard at the very least. Sounds like if we get him to leave, that will uh, cause him insult. Kill the loose tongue. Make an example of Jovi Maris. The aristocracy does not tolerate frivolous accusations. The loose tongued Jovi Maris fled to Orle after insulting the reputation of a considerable number of nobility. A few sovereigns have ensured that his safe house will deny him. I think it should say fled from early, because we're in Ferelden. Teach the scoundrel Jovi Maris a lesson so that his punishment serves as a warning to others. Stealing in the market. Take the fenced items from the merchants. The fence Bonnie Lem has made a brisk business selling you and Marjolaine. Brisk business selling items you and Marjolaine liberate from Orlesian aristocracy. But you never guaranteed the buyers would be allowed to keep them. 
steal back the three fenced collections to have some fun with Ferelden merchants. After all, what kind of morally bankrupt person buys stolen goods? Marjolaine's Vendetta. Look for the guard captain. Among your contracts is something personal. The guard captain of Denrum apparently wronged Marjolaine somehow, and she wants revenge. This She is taking care of it herself. It will be interesting to see what she cooks up. Pity the man. Whatever comes. So it sounds like um, we got a couple different things that we can do in the square. And we can also level up. And we've got a codex entry. Ah. But the Elysian Game of Intrigue. I remember. Marjolaine had given me clippings from a Ferelden book. A social dissection of Orlais or some such. Orlais presents a veneer of opulence, but the aristocracy are committed to a system of social one-upmanship they call the game. Sprawling receptions to light friend and foe while bard strike from shadow with insuation? Larceny and assassination, often with the strange delight of their targets. Control of these alter agents is yet another layer of the game. Alter agent, I liked. The rest I could the rest could not be more dry. Ferelden's truly did not understand my world, and that, of course, was Marshallin's intent. I'd arranged my favourite associates and followed her to Denerum, not for the promise of money, but for the excitement of toying with fools. I was her creature. Right, so let's uh, see what we've got here. So we've obviously got Liliana. She is a dove. She's got a bow and two blades. We've got Tunk. He appears to be a warrior. And he's just a shield warrior. Yep. And we have Sketch. Mage. No more equipment. But we can level up. So let's have a look at what we got. We can probably customize them quite a bit. Dexterity. Okay. That seems where to go. Or Cunning. Dexterity or Cunning. Um, we'll go dexterity. And we choose two things to put in points here. I think we're going to go for mechanical expertise because that seems like something that will be useful. Actually, we're going to not take the dexterity, we're going to take cunning. Because we're going to go down mechanical expertise as quickly as possible. And... Mm, probably want to go with... I think we probably want to be an archer. I'm thinking about this properly. And we want melee archer because that means that we can fire when being attacked, which is a very useful skill. We have Tug, who has no attributes, but has three talents we can take, so we can kind of make him what we want. So does he have... He doesn't have Threaten, so we need to give him Threaten. Uh, increases number... Alright, he gets physical resistance, don't want that. Well, we do, but we don't care. But threatens the one that we need to, him to have. And shield defense and shield balance. So basically make him a good tank. And sketch, we will... What, what's his specialization? Spirit healer. Well, that's good. He can be our healer. Go for group heal. He has a lot of spells, actually, we can do. So we'll go group heal. I think that's as far down that as we're going, actually. We might want to go down the lift path. That's pretty good. But I think the best one for the mage to have straight up is this line. Don't have enough magic. Um, How much magic do we have? 28. So we're almost at this level. So we'll put all the points into this one. So we'll go down like that. Take one point in group heal. And one more point... Let's see what we could do. Could try going down one of these paths. Haven't done that before. But I actually like Glyph of Paralysis. We'll go. We'll take some glyphs. So we'll go Glyph Paralysis and Glyph of Warding. And leave it at that. We've also got some tactics we can set up. Um, which I'm going to quickly do off camera. And then magically they'll be done. Right. So we've got all of our tactics set up here. Liliana will activate her abilities in combat and will stun people when she's being attacked. Tug will activate his shield stuff when he's being attacked by ranged abilities. 
and he'll taunt anyone who's trying to attack an ally. And Sketch has his healing and buff set up with a few attacks that we heal fire off every now and then. I have set you up using Paralysis or Flame Blast as I think that the AI probably won't set, use those very well, at least not from what I've seen. Anyway, let's get started doing one of these missions. The guards will be looking for any excuse to bring out the blades. Okay, have we got anything back here actually? Nope. Through in the market district. That's not the right one. That's what I'm looking for. Playing too much Inquisition. Um, let's see. Humble Ban Perrin by defeating his elite guard at the very least. There's one for us. Let's have a look at the Chanter's board, see if we've got anything up here. The usual moaning about charity. This board needs something. Okay, we'll see if we can find something to put up there. We style Liliana. That is the game. Okay. Some money from the collection plate. From the poor box. If their maker misses this, the Chantry has bigger problems. Yeah. Uh, nothing back here. Alright, so we've got some things that we need to steal. No hesitation. We simply act. Okay. Hello, some city guard. Well, I see a ketchup sort. Note from the collective. A short code actually gives directions on how to find stash intended as payment for some trivial task for another. Did you know? It's nothing. Usually. Then uh, no one will mind if we follow the clues and help ourselves. I remember. The note from the Mages Collective said there were clues around the market that would point to a hidden cache. At the time, I didn't care that someone earned that money or that someone else had scrounged to collect it. Finding clues would be the adventure distraction. I even looked forward to the inevitable guard. By the signature, Severin was the poor fellow's name. So we've got signed some clues. Nothing back here. Hello, guards. We talk. The guards have no reason to chase us. Move off. No loitering in the streets after dark. Of course, wouldn't want to loiter. Ah, more stuff. Some carpet. We can sell that. So this is what we need to steal. Just try and case out <laughs> what we're doing a little bit. Follow Marjolaine's lead. Marjolaine has taken revenge on our poor captain, left him outside the inn. It might be amusing to contribute, although Marjolaine may see it as an intrusion. Sounds like Marjolaine found her mark, poor bastard. Hmm. I think we'll join in. Could be fun. Let's see. What can do. So I thought I said outside the. Outside the inn. See around the corner or something. Mm, no. Oh, there he is. Hello. Oh, Marjolaine was hard on her poor captain. Wonder if I could add to that. You get into Looks to the world that he's drunk on duty. It's a good start. Shame we have nothing to add to that. For the moment. Okay, so we need to look out for something that we can use to embarrass him. Ah. Jovi Maris. Now he's the one who insulted someone and then tried to leave, I think. Um, which one would that be? Kill the loose tongue. Salt the reputation and left. Oh, that that just won't do. Come on! Damn you lot, open up! There's our tattle tell. Put him down. There's a warning. Hello. <clears throat> who? Jovi Maris? Oh no, I was supposed to be safe. Your em our employer wants you dead. Sorry, you told stories about the wrong noble. I ain't going back. I'm not. Good with me. Um, okay. We need our boy. Let's get away a little bit. Start shooting it. Shooting him. And he's down. There's more if he simply disappeared. Dying's not enough. Bit of Marjolaine in you. So we got his corpse. We got a masterpiece of leather work. 
piece of silver legion leather stitched with and riveted with such skill that even unfinished it is aesthetically pleasing. Okay, and a dagger. Oof. I'll take all that. How did they get so heavy on such terrible food? Uh, nobody boils an innard like a Ferelden. So we could plant it on this guy. What did he do? Well, she left from outside the inn, so she probably doesn't want to frame him for murder. That doesn't seem quite right. Oh, city guard are attacking us. Uh, you're going to switch over to sketch because he's the most abilities that I wasn't able to uh, put tactics wise. See what we can do. I think we want to stun them all if we can. And then we want to fire back here. And now they're all on fire. Let's see, let's stun this one. Uh, deliver paralysis. Move back. And then we will. Uh, I think we'll just keep running. Tug, you need to get over here and start attacking these guys. Sketch, you run over here towards Tug. Right. Don't really want to die. Got stunned by a shield bash. Continue attacking. Um, we need to heal. Move back out. Fire. And kill. Got one at the back there. So we'll go and get him after we kill these guys. Nice and easy. Good. Bring him on. You ever get enough? Nope. <laughs> right, so let's start stealing some things. Finery? This Sir uh, Wally has clearly never been to Orlay. We'll steal back the fenced costumes. Let's put these to better use somewhere. Import of import. The man thinks he's clever. We'll steal back the jewellery. Dead people jewellery. We might swap these things around. Not as pretty as I remember. Maybe these things have a better use than just selling them again. Mm -hmm. Swap the goods around. They'll jump to blame each other. Yeah. Ugh, so childish. Mm -hmm. Seems too easy. As if he found them. We'll steal back the Tevinter Antiquities. Right, let's go plant something on uh, our captain over here. Probably, how about everything? Right. Marjolaine has left the man in a state, no question. I wonder how much shame he can bear. We'll plant all the stolen items on him. A thief as well. The man is a disgrace. And then we'll leave. Out of the job holding suspect materials. Disgraceful. Disgraceful. It's a start. A start, she says. And we don't want to get in the way of the guard. Now, we still have a body to get rid of. Um, we could chuck it down the chantry well. We'll see if another opportunity shows itself. Right, so we want to wait for them to go back along. Now we can go and come in here. What do we have to do to ban Perrin? We have to humble him. Hmm. Oh, ooh, a mage collective cash markers at the other side of here, apparently. We should go and get that. Oh. Uh, we'll just switch to our swords. Got him. Oh, more. Um, switch back to bow and arrow, and we'll be back as sketch. Flame blast. 
Get the burning starting. Deliver paralysis so one of them will freeze. And attack this guard. And attack that one. Right, Liliana's tactics are wrong. We should have her on ranged behavior. Good. Problem solved. Let's see switch to her daggers when she should have stayed in using her bow. Right, when well, I'm looking for the cash marker back here. Um I don't see any cash marker. Oh, there it is. One pixel. If we get the rest on our map? Aha, uh -huh, we do. Perfect. We can go over and get that one. Uh, this side of the square? Right, it's next to that building we are at earlier. Where is it? It says it should be here. There. Another clue. Thank you, collector. Quest updated. Have revealed the location. Okay, where is it? I'm gonna make act let's make that active. Oh, just around the corner. Perfect. No problems. Um Okay. Well let's switch to sketch. We're back, telekinetic weapons. Let's uh force field the mage. That not work? Force field mage. There he is. Now we can attack the golem. Fire. Let's keep hitting them. Lightning? That seemed to work. Right, now we've got seven. We'll put them on fire. And we'll get close enough that we can stop. Ooh, earthquake. Is that uh, it's about golems? I've read that before. I think. Stun them. And we'll put Lift of Paralysis underneath them as well. Frozen in place. Telekinetic weapons. And burn. Lightning bolt. He's down. And tug lift. Perfect. We got the Mage's Collective Signet, which is a Mage's only item. It's just a group that I kind of understand. Huh. Well, his trinket looks to be worth a nice amount, unless we find another use for it. Right. And a dexterity ring. Um, I wonder whether we can plant that trinket on somebody. Like, can we plant that trinket on this guy over here? That could be fun. Haven't we done enough to the man? I wonder how much shame he can bear. Yeah, we'll give him the mage's collective signet. Now it appears he's an apostate as well. Shocking. You know what? We're we're going all the way. We're putting the body there. Taking with a dead man will not help his situation. Marlene will love this. Uh, How much more would you do, girl? We could do more too. I'm sure. Maybe we'll find something else. Hello, guard. Right nice on. evening. Yes, I thought you'd react like this. Mind Blast, Flame Blast. Let's use the Paralysis to get one of them frozen. Then we'll attack the others. Nice and easy. 
We've been there. Hello. There's our noble to disgrace. Don't let them near him. Okay. So who have we got? Uh, can't really get a vision on guard, guard, and ban parent. So we'll switch to sketch. Let's force. We'll move out a bit just so I can get a better angle on the camera. Um, okay, we're not getting a better angle on the camera. Let's use force field. Don't let them near me. Force field. We'll paralyze him once our thing comes up. So we'll set that directly onto him. And now we can attack that guard. These two, I'm gonna need to go down like this. Attack Ban Perrin. We'll go back to control and sketch and hopefully change the camera angle. Kill Ban Perrin. Uh, Lillian is actually not in, uh, not able to attack him, but that's fine. Leveled up. Quest updated. You humbled him, but perhaps we can add more shame and amuse Marshallin. We could do that. I think we can do just a little bit more though. Arcane Bolt will take Silver Ring. Note from the chat tree. Note of commendation. Thanks, Ban Parent, for his ongoing moral integrity and generosity. The chat tree looks forward to his next donation. And suspect undergarments. This undergarment has an unwholesome lace breached codpiece that somehow both constricts and augments the height of vulgarity in all but the most intimate of company. We're supposed to strip him of dignity, not his things. It'll be both if we find an amusing place to leave them. Well, we could leave them at the Chantry, but that seems too obvious, and I think we're going to try and see if we can leave them with this uh, guard. We're going to completely humiliate him. Hello. Haven't we done enough to the man? I wonder how much shame he can bear. Well, we'll leave everything here. A non-regulation addition, I'm sure. That is a career destroyed. Well, we have done everything. We have no one of that, and we'll find out soon enough. Let's uh, leave the tavern, right? Yes, let's leave the leveling up and seeing Marjolaine till next time. See you then. Goodbye.